Hello and welcome to my channel, Kaylee Creations. I'm Kay, and I've been asked to be a guest designer for Renee Bouquets. So you can find all of the fabulous product that I've used at ReneeBouquets.com. I will put a link to the store below in the description box, as well as a link to each product item I have used in this folio. So it's getting close to fall, so I have decided to do a Halloween folio. It's a gatefold folio. It's eight and a half wide by ten and a half tall with one inch spine pieces. So I will show you the sides are both the same here, and I've used the same design paper on the back as on the sides. And First of all, I want to say that I was inspired to make this piece because of this clock face here. This is the cobweb clock face from Renee's shop, and it does come with the hands. Now, it has, she has a couple different choices of hands that you can use, and, um, and I cannot remember the number, so I will, there's, they're by number, so I will put the number of the clock hands that I used in the description box below as well as the size and the name of the clock face. It's the cobweb, this, I believe this is the medium. So it's three and a half inches in circumference here. And I have used these corner pieces here and these pieces here, oh, let me say these are, these are come two in a package, so I got two packages of these, and then these scroll pieces here come two in a package as well. So I've used three packages of these, and so these pieces here are are what we call Renee Bouquet's beautiful board, and it's beautiful board because it it's just really a beautiful. It really is a beautiful board. It's intricately cut. It has a finish on it, so you can use it just as is. You can reverse it. There's no wrong side, except for it, unless it has an orientation like the clock, which if you flipped it in reverse, the numbers would be backwards. But other than that, you can reverse it. Um, it has just a really nice smooth finish. It it takes any kind of medium just really well. I have spray painted all of the beautiful board pieces in a satin black spray. And, and it was really quick and really easy to do. Um, I just do suggest that you spray from all four sides when you're spraying, especially intricate pieces like this, so that the spray paint gets under all, gets in all the edges and it's all all the color that you want. So this clock, um, when I saw, saw this cobweb face, I thought how fun it would be to make a mantle clock that would be in a haunted mansion or something. And so that was the inspiration for this. And I thought it would be fun to have this as a removable piece that holds the gatefold folio together. So, I mean, I could have chose to just do it like that, but I chose the whole thing to come off. And so here's the back here. And I've just got a little strip of design paper here and this design paper here. It's all held together with magnets. And I do have a tutorial on how to create this entire folio. I do have a tutorial on how to make the clock. You don't have to have any special equipment. I show you how to make it by hand. And um, so anyway, I I have used um, these butterflies here. I've used one and a half packages of these butterflies throughout the folio. These are the Hello Autumn. And I just love the bright orange matches perfectly with the paper. And so I did, of course, spray both sides of that witch. So when it flipped over, you it wouldn't be, I wanted it to be black on both sides. And oh, I did put a little spider on the pendulum here and then one spider here. And so open this up here. 
and so here's the whole spread of the gatefold folio and the sides here with the fold outs and the pockets which I'll go into detail in just a minute are inspired by and and the design by this part of the folio here these pockets and the fold outs was designed by Ginger Rob I took a class where I made a from I took a class from Ginger where I made a gatefold folio with the sides design just like you see here and I did get permission from Ginger to um, recreate that design in this Halloween folio so thank you Ginger and you can find Ginger at my sister scrapper and you probably all know who she is she does fabulous folios and projects and lots of wonderful things so thank you Ginger for letting me duplicate this part of your your folio and so we have this four by six fold out, which I have done a reverse or a mirror image uh, on the sides, except for maybe just putting, you know, the stickers on opposite sides and I use different stickers and, and then putting the stickers on opposite sides here and the butterflies on opposite sides. So um, I'm going to scroll in just a little bit so that we can take a closer look at the one side here. Maybe I scrolled in a little too far. Okay, so anyway, I have um I am gonna hold this up so you can see this little itty bitty this little itty bitty sticker here. It says haunted house. And I um I use the medium size switches on the sides and these are, uh, this is a three and a half inch circle and a three and three quarter inch black circle. And I have backed all the stickers and all the papers on black cardstock with give or take a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch border from the decorative paper. And I backed all the stickers and everything. So this is sticker 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 and on this side we have sticker 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 um, I used there's two sticker sheets with the collection pack I I used a few stickers from each sticker sheet so I can't remember I got the collection pack I used one collection pack of the authentic twilight paper I used some of the papers I used both of them till there was nothing left and then there was a few papers that I only used one single sheet of paper so you you have enough paper left over to maybe do a little mini project or some cards and but I can't remember when I ordered the collection pack if it only came with one sticker sheet and if I ordered the other sticker sheet separate so just make sure if you're if you're wanting to order that um, or get that from wherever shop that you shop in it shop at um, make sure you get both sticker sheets okay um, I know that there is a paper pad that you can just order the paper pads and the sticker sheets separate so you could do that way too so either way um, just as long as you have two sheets of each of the eight designs and I I probably used I used 12 by 12 black cardstock, and I'm gonna say I used three, four, I'm I, at least at least 10. Okay, I'm not exactly sure. It could be more, but at least 10 for sure. Uh, Cause the like I said, I backed everything, and then I got the waterfall here, so it's it's at least 10. And then uh, let's see. So this opens up here. This is a four by six. So uh, I could choose to put a four by six photo here if I want to cover these dots completely. Um, I probably won't. I don't know as that I'll have that many pictures. I think there's plenty of room in, in this in this folio for pictures that I don't need to cover every single spot. I do like to have 
I do like to do smaller and then maybe add more stickers since I do have so many stickers left. That will be really fun. I just didn't do that yet because I want to see where I'm at with the pictures. If I if I want to put a 3x4 picture here, I want to be able to know what the picture is and what little sticker I want to put here. So I, I didn't fully design this to the hilt because I just want to have options. Um, so this fold out here. Um, and then this is a little flip up, flip up that, that slides out of the pocket here. And then I did create a space here for a three by four photo. So the three by four, this is a three by four journaling card. So when I put the photo here, it'll just be the same as, as on the top image here. And then isn't that just darling with the witch, just darling paper. And like I said, it just went with. Uh, Renee Bouquet's beautiful, Halloween Beautiful board perfectly because um, I think they even have some sticker images with the witch and so it's just matched perfectly. Uh, so anyway, there that pocket there and then this is of course the mirror image but I'll show you the, the cute little girl and you know, when I'm designing, sometimes I forget what I'm doing. I did put this butterfly here, and this is supposed to slide up. So I do have to kind of push the edge of that butterfly down to slide this up. Just, you know, just some of those things that sometimes I don't think about when I'm designing. But um, anyway, but isn't she adorable? Oh, my goodness. And then this just flips up again, and there's another room for a 3 by 4 And I could choose to put... You know something here and and I can even put a photo on the back if I want I think there's enough room in these pockets here to even mat another photo and slide it in there would have to be slightly um, less than four inches to slide in there good but a trim down four by six would and a couple extra photos would fit in this pocket if I chose to do that so so we'll go to the middle here with the waterfall and I have this piece holding it down so this is a sticker from the sticker collection and I just stuck it on the black cardstock and did a little bit of fussy cutting added this little spider here and I did design the back of this little piece with the same paper I have on the cover and this is held together with a magnet. And on the waterfall, I have this cute little girl image here of this witch. And let me put this out. Um, I did cut off the border. See, all these little vintage 3x4 cards have this black and orange border. So I cut off the border. In fact, I even cut it down. A little bit smaller um, then even went past the border cut it a little bit smaller and shorter so that I could fit it in here nice and still have her cute little face seen when even when this is closed and so then I have one of Renee Bouquet's butterflies here and this is the only one of this particular style that I used but I really wanted the white, uh, you know, to match the white on the on the card here. I just thought it balanced it out really nice. And I believe these are, oh, you know, I'm not even going to say, because I, you know what, I, got, I have so many butterflies from Renee Bouquet's that I get the names mixed up. So I will put a link to that below. But I believe it's something citrine, and these are Hello Autumn. And um, so I only used one of this, and I used a seven in total of this particular ones. And then I have the other two here. So these also come in a package of five. And so this right here where it says, I've got you under my spell, um, I do want to explain a little bit about this because this is for from one sticker. It's not three stickers, it's one whole sticker. It was one whole 
thing it said one whole thing said I've got you under my spell and it's and it's even more than that it was also cut out from the middle of a sticker so the sticker was originally a like a slab of wood with the raw edges you know and this part the wording was like it looked like it was painted onto the slab in the middle of the board so I cut this part out of that sticker and cut it apart and backed it with black cardstock and used my and I and I put um, you know you could use different things baking soda baby powder whatever you've got to take away the sticky of the sticker and then I corner rounded each piece on all four edges with a very small corner rounder and then I did the same thing once I mounted it onto the black cardstock, I corner rounded the cardstock. So that's how I, I got this here. I thought I'd better explain that because even though I have a tutorial, I only cover creating the waterfall. I, I cover how I decorated it, but the embellishing part, I did not cover that. And, um, you know, I hadn't embellished it yet, so I wanted to explain how I how I did that. And on the waterfall, this is the only piece, except for the very back or the very bottom, this is the only piece that is fully covered. I chose to save my paper. I didn't I didn't want to use up all the paper and then some on this project, so I decided to just do the half inch strip and I'm going to be putting four by six photos in here anyway so I really don't see the need to to um, cover the paper with a photo completely so this will hold four by six photos with a little bit of a black edge so you have so if you see here how I have this three by four centered into this black cardstock area. So there's a little bit of black cardstock in between this piece of paper and this. So it would be the same way on this 4 by 6 folio or waterfall, excuse me. And so there'd be a little bit of black space and room and a little bit of black here all the way around once the 4 by 6 photos on here. And so So all the papers are the exact same on the front and the back. So I will scroll up here so you can see the bottom again. So it's the same design paper front and back. And then I've got these little journaling cards. I made a pocket here and some journaling cards so I can put photos here. And this pocket can hold a little bit more. It can be as bulky as I want it to be when I'm said and done, you know. I don't mind if it has a little bit of bulk because there's room in this folio. I got these one inch spines here. So there's room, you know, to bulk it up a bit. It just depends on how many pictures I end up having. So this little file folder here, I created this with. This is a, this piece here is a sticker from one of the sticker sheets, and so I I tell how to make this in one of the tutorials, and so I just took this. It even has the tab attached to it. It's this whole piece is a sticker, so I explain how to make that, and so I thought that would be a fun little fun little item to add to this pocket. So we'll close that back up and then this whole entire center piece I'm going to scroll out again this whole entire center piece folds up and then I'll show you above in just a minute but this here I use the same scroll pieces that are on my clock and you can see here that I didn't quite get it straight I don't know I think it must have shifted or something because I did have a ruler placed along here and I still got it crooked but I tend to do that I'm a bit of a clumsy crafter but anyway um, 
I spray painted them black and glued them on here. And I just thought it was a really nice touch for this large area here. But I wanted to leave it large. I was afraid to design too much on here because once it has to be fairly flat because the magnets are here and this this fold out, you know, goes over it. So and the waterfall's on top, and I don't want to bulge out the waterfall before I even get pictures in it. So and then I and then I also might want to put a larger picture here. So I, I wanted to keep this open for options. So that one is not decorated beyond. You know, once I do get pictures, I can always go back and add some more stickers because I have plenty left. I keep a little I keep a little um, folder of stickers that I have not used in projects so that when I do put pictures in I can go back and grab the stickers. So just a little maybe an FYI on your on your crafting and your storage. Just if you if you have stickers left over and you don't have the pictures in yet, save those in a little file where you can find them again and use them again later. Um, so enough of that. So this piece here, this page here. Okay, I have to get back here. <laughs> here we go. So I made another little file. Well, it's not a little. This one's a bigger file folder. And so I, I explained how I made this in the tutorial. I did not use any cutting equipment. I just other than a basic trimmer, but I explain how I make this folio and this is, or this um, file folder and this, this sticker here makes the tab. This is from one of the sticker sheets and it says pumpkins. I'm going to scroll back in a little bit again. It says pumpkins and then the other side says costumes. And it looks like this is coming off. I need to glue that back down better or maybe I just temporarily glued it and forgot to glue it permanent <laughs> anyway um, so then I made a pocket for it here and this is about a three and a half by five piece and then so I can you know put more than one picture in here It'll, it will fit in the pocket but again it just depends on how bulky you want your waterfall bulging out. If you don't want your waterfall bulging too much, um, then maybe just put a photo here. I could put another, I, maybe I put another little three by four photo here. And then this opens up and room for four by six photos here. And then on the top here, I just cut out these banner stickers and back them on or I didn't cut out the stickers. I mounted them onto black cardstock and then fussy cut around. And I didn't glue all the way because I like that look of banners kind of like sticking up or blowing in the wind kind of a thing. <laughs> and then uh, these spiders here are from a punch that I've had in my stash for a very long time. I don't know where I got it or what brand it is. And so then I just put them all along in between the banner pieces here and then I just cut a very very thin piece of paper and so it would look like the spiders were dangling from its web. So that's it. So I'm really happy with it. I had originally thought maybe I was going a little more shabby with it but uh, when I, the pieces are so classic, the be Halloween beautiful board is so classic and vintage looking. I didn't want to, I didn't want to go too shabby. I wanted to keep it clean lines and, and it grew with the paper. It just really went together well. So I'm really happy with it. And so I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you would like to see more of my designs, please subscribe below and click on the little bell so you get the notification. I will be doing a fall album with some of the fall beautiful board pieces and they are gorgeous, gorgeous designs. So you don't want to miss that because 
they're very beautiful and I can't wait to make a project or an album with those fall pieces from Renee Bouquets. So please check out the links below. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, please keep, scroll down until you get to the comment section and comment for me. And I would love to hear from you. And so thank you for watching and have a fantastic Halloween. Bye-bye.